The Adventures of Penny Iris, Episode 4, Penny's Clues Break the Case. Wow, 168 of you want me to go back and tell my mom, and I think you're right. I definitely don't want to get into any more trouble than I already am. So I better get going. I gotta get back there quick, before that creepy guy gets too far. Woohoo! Hi, Captain. Captain. Hi, Captain. Okay, good. You're all here. Penny's clue said City Park at 1, so we need to move fast. Wait. Dang. Where's Pat? Um, he radioed that he'll be here in five minutes, and that was a few minutes ago. <laughs> here comes Pat, Captain. Okay, great. He's here. Ponch and Chip, you take the cruiser and head to 54th. Go in quiet like a routine check through the area, and wait for our signal. Got it, Captain. That's affirmative. Hi, Captain. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Pat. Nice of you to join us. Pat, Ginger, dang. We'll take the truck and station ourselves on the west side. Ginger, you've got your camera? Got it here, Captain. You'll take your landscape pictures. Try not to be too obvious. Got it. Pat, you'll head to the bench on the south entrance. Sure thing, Captain. Dang, you'll hang back with me in the truck and we'll monitor the tracking device. Okay, sounds good. I think that's it. Any questions? No, we got it, Captain. Nope. Got it. All good here, Captain. All right, let's go. Okay, Pat, do a walk by visual along the south wall and report back. Single female, dark hair, on a park bench, no other people in sight. Ginger, head in and see if you can get some pictures of the female on the bench. Yes, Captain, heading into the park now. Ginger, status on your position. What do you see? I see the woman. I'm going to move in closer to get some better pictures. Chip, Ponch, report your visual. Affirmative. We see the woman on the bench. Wait, we have a man coming into the park. Okay, report back. Wait, Captain, we have a visual on our suspect. He stopped at the bench and is talking to the woman. Hey, sorry I'm late. Imbecile. <sighs> sit, sit. Uh, sure. Can you move over a bit? Not here. Sit on the other side. Oh, right. Sorry. Why are you alone? Where are the things you stole from moi? Oh, Mr. Peterson had to head down to the police station. And I haven't heard from him since. <gasps> the police? We had a bit of a problem. And we may have lost everything. Imbecile! Dang, looks like Peterson's on the move. The tracking device is showing him coming this way. Everyone, tighten your positions. Peterson is approaching the area. I want to wait and see if he's going to meet up with our suspect and the woman. But nobody moves in until I give the orders. Yes, Captain. All right, Captain. Affirmative, Captain. Something is wrong. My viscos are twitching. My disguise. Did you say something? Captain! The woman is leaving the scene, and it's Kitty! Okay, hold positions. The tracking device says Peterson is in the area. Anyone have a visual? He should be right there. No, Captain. No, Captain. I don't see Peterson. Ah, <sighs> that is better. Captain, Kitty's on the move, and I'm losing visual. Okay, hold positions. Pat, report back if you have a visual on Kitty. She's coming your way. A pluta. Did you say applesauce? Huh? Hello? Can I look at you now? What? Where did she go? Psst. Hey, JD. Captain, I still have no visual on Kitty. I think she's gone. Darn it. And where is Peterson? He should be right there. I don't want to lose another suspect. Move in, move in. Police, hands up. What? How did you find me? Put your hands in the air. Darn it. Lieutenant Mason, where's Lieutenant Dang? Well, hi, Penny. What are you doing here? I'm just looking for my mom. I need to talk to her super fast. Can I just head up straight away? Uh, sorry, Penny. Your mom and Lieutenant Dang are out on a stakeout. What? She's on a stakeout? I think I saw the creepy guy that was at Old Man Peterson's. The one that did all the robbery and stuff? Uh, sorry, Penny. I just got back from vacation. I haven't been briefed on anything. 
Shall I take a message for you? I can get it off to your mom. Can you just call her really quick? Uh, sorry, Penny. I got strict orders unless it's an emergency. I can't be contacting your mom right now. But it is an emergency. <sighs> The creepy guy's probably already gone already. All right, all right, calm down there, Penny. You gotta get yourself back to school now. And I promise ya, I'll contact your mom as fast as I can and I'll let her know that you need to speak with her. <sighs> okay, I'll head back to class. Thanks, Lieutenant Mason. Well, bye, Penny. You have yourself a good day. Great job, everyone. Ginger. Yes, Captain? You hang back and wait for forensics. We need to make sure that they dust these benches and this newspaper. Hopefully we'll get some fingerprints off of it. All right, Captain. Chip, punch, take him in. Yes, Captain. Mr. Peterson. Whoa, you startled me. What are you doing here? <gasps> what did you do? Oh no, that's Mr. Ricardo's toaster. He's gonna be so upset. Why do you have it, Mr. Peterson? Well, hey, I don't think you should be worried about that now, Penny. You need to stop being such a troublemaker. Maybe I ought to teach you a lesson. What do you mean? Stay away from me. You're not a nice man. I'm gonna go tell my mom. You're not going anywhere. No, let go. Get off your bike now. Let go, let go. Police, let her go, Peterson. Slowly back away. Officer Pat, thank goodness you're here. He's trying to pull me off my bike. What? Put your hands in the air. You're under arrest. Hop off your bike, Penny, and come stand by me. Okay, Officer Pat. All right, Mr. Peterson. We're going to take you downtown. You're going to be talking to my lawyer. I have no idea why you're even arresting me. Jackson, what's going on? Oh, didn't you hear? Penny saved the day. Do you want a newspaper? Oh, okay, sure. Thanks a lot, Jackson. No problem. Extra, extra, read all about it. Oh, Mrs. Taggart. Good morning, Jackson. Did you want a newspaper? Oh, sure, thank you. No problem. Extra, extra! Can I see? Can I see Mrs. Taggart? Me too. Is that really Penny? Hey, what's going on? Oh man, it looks like everybody's heard about it. Way to go, Penny! Way to go, Penny! Good job, Penny! Yeah! Yeah, Penny, good job! Thanks, everyone, I think. Good morning, Mrs. Taggart. Cool job about the case, Penny. Wow! Great job, Penny. This is great publicity for our school and our community. Thanks, Mrs. Tager. I gotta get into class. Thanks, guys. Oh, hey, you should go talk to Penny. Maybe she can help you find your skateboard. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Hmm. I'll see if I can find her after. Oh, Jackson, Roxy, I'm so glad to see you. Jackson, what is that? Oh, my goodness. That explains why everybody knows everything that's going on. Ugh. What's wrong with that, Penny? We're so proud of you. I know, thanks. I just didn't know everybody in the entire school would know about it so quickly. I haven't even had a chance to read the whole article. I didn't even know what it says about me. It's really cool, Penny. They talk all about how you broke the case and you helped your mom. Here, I can give you a copy right now. I hope the picture they have of me was a good one. I guess it is a pretty good picture. Yeah, it's so cool. You're like famous. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. I'm not sure I really want to be famous. Why? What's wrong with that? You did something really amazing. Well, it's not like we planned it, and you guys were there too, so you guys kind of helped, so I don't know why they didn't include you in the paper. No, it was mostly you, Penny. Oh, there's Penny now. Penny! Penny! Hi, Ryan. Penny, I need your help. Really? What's wrong? I think someone stole my skateboard. Get out! That's terrible! I know, and I got it for my birthday. My mom's gonna be so upset. Oh no, I sure hope you'll be able to find it. That's why I need your help. I need you to help me find it. Um, I, I guess I could help. Yeah, Ryan, she can totally help. Penny, Penny, there you are. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Not good. Someone stole my iPod from my locker. I need your help. Um, okay, I guess I can help you too. But, Little Monkey fans, I'm going to need your help to choose my next adventure. Should I search for Ryan's skateboard first, or should I search for Alicia's iPod? Leave me a comment and let me know. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree talk, please.
please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for stories!